Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In these cases, you all may know the Tesla Cybertruck has officially been launched and it has entered production as well. And as you all may know, Tesla has in fact released an all new video which has circulated quite a lot and become quite viral in the car community. And that is where the Tesla Cybertruck drag races against a Porsche 911 Carrera T while towing a Porsche 911 Carrera T and defeats the Porsche 911 Carrera. But although it is commendable, it is totally unfair. Let me tell you why. First off, this thing puts out 845 horsepower. And out of all the Porsches they could have picked, they picked the least powerful Porsche of them all, i.e. the Carrera T, which boasts 385 horsepower. I mean, where the hell is it fair? First off, this is an all-electric ass crack of a car. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. It's an ass crack of a car, all right. It is. It doesn't even look good. Where is the utilitarian part of the vehicle? I don't know. And of course, it's got all-wheel drive. It's completely got electric power. So obviously, it's gonna smoke the 385 horsepower Porsche 911 Carrera T. But that's not all. Literally, the Porsche 911 Carrera T that they used was a manual transmission. It wasn't a DCT or the Porsche double clutch transmission. It was a seven-speed manual. So, it on its own is a huge disadvantage to the car alongside the fact that this is 845 horsepower and that puts out 385. And to be honest, this is literally just Tesla scamming everyone right out here. And everyone is so amazed by saying, oh, yeah, this huge SUV is coming out, destroying a Porsche 911 Carrera T. Look at the facts. Look at the numbers. Because in the video, it is incredibly evident that that Porsche 911 Carrera T is a manual and I will show you right now. And well guys, I'm finally going to present you all with the evidence and the proof is right there in the pudding in Tesla's very own video. Obviously, credit goes to them. I will link the video down in the description. But the proof is right here in Tesla's very own video as you all will see with your very own eyes right now. So let's dive right into it. And of course, as I said, 7-speed manual, not a PDK and there is definite proof of that. So just watch and see what happens. <laughs> The front end literally falls and again raises like a proper manual upshift. And when you can hear the upshift that literally takes nearly a second, it is definite and it is evident that it is a manual and not the Porsche double clutch. And that is a literal disadvantage to the Porsche. I mean, what the hell were Tesla thinking? Putting up such high end claims saying that the Tesla Cybertruck can smoke a Carrera when they literally pitted 845 all electric all wheel drive horsepower against 385 horsepower with a manual transmission. And I hereby dare Tesla to literally pit your ass crack of a car against a 992 turbos because that thing will demolish your tinfoil car. I mean, the design of this on its own is incredibly awkward. I hate it. I hate Tesla on its own. I hate electric cars in their own. I have a small lean towards remarks, but other than that, that's it. But I mean, they launched it and they literally hyped it so much and they put out these false claims. And one of the things is that this thing apparently according to Tesla has a quarter mile time of under 11 seconds but when you look at the Carmo videos it always posts 11.1 or 11.2 so that on its own is quite proof that they have been giving false claims and on top of that they, it has a not a 60 time of 2.6 seconds which is the same as a 992 turbos but the 992 turbos has a quarter mile time of 10.2 seconds a whole second faster so that means that that thing will demolish this thing in a quarter mile race so i hereby dare tesla to literally pit your tinfoil electric car an electrical tin can actually against the 992 turbos and see how it fares because it definitely will not fare well i mean the stats speak for themselves what do you guys think i mean tesla literally god knows what they were thinking doing this thinking people wouldn't catch on with this but we did i mean it is clearly evident that it is a manual right here just look at the way the the upshift sounds i mean it takes nearly a second to upshift and the bottom bounce on its own is proper physical evidence that you guys can see you can hear the upshift as well as see the front end drop and come up again i mean let's just rewatch that i mean this is way too triggering for us petrol heads. i mean we hate electric cars i mean there are certain people who like electric cars Okay, you all like him, but okay. But this is completely false, so I don't know what Tesla was thinking. So just look at this. There you go, it drops and drops, drops and raises, drops and raises. Literally, it is right there in front of everyone's eyes, guys. Literally, just go and watch the video and just bombard their video with comments saying that it needs to be raised against the 992 turbos because this is highly unfair. Manual against 845, all wheel drive, no gearbox, instant power is literally unfair. It is a cheat code that Tesla are abusing. And this ass crack of a car on its own. I mean, the 992 Carrera T 
okay it is a good car it is a starting carrera of course the least powerful but you're pitting 845 all electric power against this thing 385 against 845 how will it fare anyone with a good common sense will say that it will not fare well and especially since this thing doesn't even have a pdk it has a god damn seven speed manual tesla god knows what you all were thinking and i hereby dare you to literally pit your ascara cup of car to take it up against the 992 turbos and porsche you all should also not just sit quiet and show them what you all are made of i mean this is a literal false pretense that they're showing on top of that their quarter mile times according to tesla are under 11 seconds but when you watch the kava videos it's over 11.1 seconds so god knows what they are showing and what is actually happening i mean there is different proof kava videos on their own are proper proof of it i'll just put up a couple of screenshots and this is proper proof that in fact they are in fact lying so tesla are basically scamming people with their cyber truck which honestly is one of the most horrendously designed cars out there Anyways, what do you guys think? And well, guys, I have officially presented you with the evidence. You can, in fact, go and check out the video if you want and listen to the upshift, see how long it takes and watch the front end dip and raise up again. So that is more than enough proof that it was a seven speed manual against 845 all electric power. That is totally unfair on its own. And that is a literal cheat code being used and literally abused by Tesla. And they've, in fact, given false pretenses that they have a quarter mile time of under 11 seconds but when you watch the cover videos it's over 11 seconds so god knows what else they've lied about but firstly i would like to give a mad level of respect and a huge hats off to the 911 carrera t driver because he is the upshifts on that and managed to keep up with the cyber truck as well it's not like it walked off it was within reaching distance but nevertheless whoever you are good sir a mad level of respect to you out there because you know how to drive a proper manual car but nevertheless guys coming back to this Porsche, y'all have got to pull your socks up and literally destroy Tesla on this. And Tesla, I dare you to drag race your tin can, your electric tin can against the 992 Turbo. See how that fares well, because most people will know how, what will happen. We can tell by the stats, quarter mile times 11.2, quarter mile times of the 992 Turbo is 10.2. Not a 60 times, same 2.6, but see what happens. And if everyone is saying electric cars are going to be the future, then you've got 992 Turbo is smoking these, what do you think is going to happen? So Tesla fanboys, feel free to be triggered because there are multiple people out there who don't want electric cars to take over. And I am one of those people as well. And my video right here is proper proof of that. And once again, I am hereby insincerely requesting Tesla to properly drag race it against a proper 992 Turbos and see what happens. Because at the end of the day, y'all are literally just for giving out false stuff, giving false claims. When you watch the car war videos, it is more than enough IRL proof that the quarter mile times are over 11 seconds. So literally what is going on? I mean, I don't even know what Tesla was thinking with this. I mean, I don't even know if they thought that people would catch on with this, but nevertheless, people have caught on and this is officially going out into the public and my video is proper proof of that. And of course, there's also the fact that this thing is not even good on the safety side because when the safety test was being conducted, it was observed that the impact was in fact absorbed by the passengers in the car and not the car itself. So that one imposes a huge risk and God knows how many more faults are there with the car. Obviously, I hate this car. I hate the design of it. It looks like just a couple of lines slapped together. The name on its own is very cringe, cyber truck. I mean, ugh. God knows what was going on in their minds. But nevertheless, God knows what more things are going to unravel. But Tesla, I hereby dare y'all to literally drag race your electric tin can against the 992 turbos. Because I know it will get literally smoked. Most people will know by now because I've presented them with the facts and proper proof that this thing drag raised a manual transmission 911 Carrera T. So God knows what will happen. But nevertheless, let's see what happens, guys. It's time to humble the cyber truck. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Remember to hit that sub button and click the bell to ensure that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See ya.